Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the 2021 Newmar Mountain Air. Now, I'm really excited about this because I haven't ever done a Mountain Air video before, so you get to walk around this for the first time with me, so you're gonna love it. This is the beautiful Ibis exterior. It has the masterpiece finish with the full body paint with cut and buff, so it's just a beautiful paint job. So the Mountain Air sits on the Spartan K3 chassis. That's the only chassis that you can get uh, the Mountain Air on this year. Now, it also, the Mountain Air also starts Newmar's luxury line. So what do you get, um, what are you paying for when you go up to the luxury line? So first of all, you're getting the, the K3 chassis, which is a bigger, heavier chassis. You're gonna get more storage area. Uh, you also go from an 8.9 liter engine to a 12 liter engine. So you've got the Cummins 12 liter diesel charged turbo engine. You go from 1250 pound foot of torque to 1695 pound foot of torque. So that is huge. That's one of the big things that you're paying for is that extra torque. So hence the name Mountain Air. So when you're traveling in the mountains, your uh, your horsepower is what gets you up to speed. Your torque is what keeps you there and helps you maintain that speed. So you're not gonna have any problem traveling in the mountains in this Mountain Air. So aesthetically, I just want you to look at how beautiful the front cap of the Mountain Air is. First of all, you don't see any windshield wipers. So that just makes it look way more high end. They're tucked in behind this front cap, so they're protected from the elements, which I just think is gonna make those um, last longer, and it looks pretty too. Very automotive style. Then if you look at the way they mount their windshield, it's totally automotive style. You don't have a big rubber gasket that then runs into your windshield wipers. I just think it looks sleek and beautiful and really uh, high end. Also, the 360 camera comes standard on the Mountain Air and they've at the, it's a new model this year. So if you look up in the center of the, just above the windshield, that's the first of your four 360 camera or cameras that will contribute to that 360 view, bird's eye view when you're at the dash. So a new standard for 2021 is the mobile eye. So that's your lane detection system. So you're going to love that and I'll demonstrate that when I take this for a drive. We have the beautiful chrome exterior mirrors. So these are internally controlled, they're heated. You also have your side view camera in this. So when you put on your left and right turn signals, you're gonna get a shot that you can see down the full length of the side of the coach, which is really nice. Top you control inside, the bottom you have to adjust outside. So you, you need a little helper when you do that. Then this is another new thing that they've added for 2021. I know it's simple, but I just love the look of it. I like the little extra badging of Mountain Air on the side, and then you have the beautiful Mountain Air across the front cap. So you have three ways that you can get into your Mountain Air. First of all, you've got your key, obviously, your key fob that you can just get unlocked. And then you've got your keyless entry pad so that you can put in your own unique key um, code. That way you can let the grandkids in, you can let your service technician come in if you're not there. And the other thing that I love that Newmark gives you is the doorbell. You know, it's just the little things in life. And I also love this pretty handle that you have when you go to go in the coach. Now this is the 4543. So this is a little hint I'm gonna share with y'all. With Newmar, the first two left, um, numbers are the length of the coach. The last two are the floor plan. So another new thing that we have for uh, 2021 is all the 40 foot Newmar, there's two 40 foot uh, models. Now those are 41 foot models this year. And what they've done is giving you an extra foot in your master bathroom, which is huge. It gives you a bigger shower, more space to move around. So that's just another thing that they've added for 2021. All right, you get the Michelin 365 tires on the front and 315s on the rear. So 365 doesn't mean that you get a bigger tire, you get a wider tire. So that's gonna give you a smoother, nicer ride. You also get the Alcoa Durabrite rims, 
which are great. So you just wash them, no polishing. You do not need to polish them. So that's a huge factor. Then another thing that comes with uh, Numar that I think is wonderful that they do because it's just an extra safety feature is they have a steel compartment here that protects the fuel line. Your fuel line is right behind your front tires. So that's totally protected. You can even put your hand back there and kind of knock on it. And I just think that's another great safety feature. Speaking of safety features, another thing that I consider a must have is RetroBand. It's just spare within your tire. And I have a whole video where I go over what that is. Um, National and RV Centers sells that exclusively. Again, you wanna protect your family, your loved ones. This is a lifestyle that you've been saving you know, money for, retirement or just for vacation. Um, you don't want to have any problems, so go and check out my video on RetroBand. Earlier I mentioned what a wonderful job that Numar does on its painting, so I just wanted to show you. I can take my finger and run it down uh, the paint here, and I don't feel those transitions. That's when you know that they've done a really nice job with their paint. Numar does it probably better than, it, than anyone. Now we also here, we've got our 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. This has dual fills, so I can fill it from either side, driver's or passenger side. And our first docking light, super important when you go into a campground at night that you've got those docking lights that's gonna help illuminate the ground. And you know, you're gonna be able to avoid picnic tables, poles, rocks, a lot of things that can ruin your beautiful coach. And then our first marker light. All right, so let's peek inside our first baggage compartment. Now this is another new item for 2021. We've always had the uh, exterior refrigerator freezer, but this is a new model. So we can pull it out just like we've always been able to. But now we've got two compartments. So you can go ahead and set either compartment for refrigerator or freezer, or you can make them both a freezer just depending on what you use it or if you're tailgating and you just want it to be drinks, they can both be a refrigerator and just drinks. So I love that they give you that option. That's a nice new feature for 2021. So before we go to our next compartment, one of the great things about having a coach is that you can be outside and enjoy this beautiful fresh air and watch TV. So this is our 43 inch Samsung TV with the Bose sound bar. New feature for 2021. Now we, you can take it out so you can direct it in the right way. And this is the new thing, it tilts this year. So to do that, you just, there's a little lever here behind the TV, just pull that for, forward and then you can tilt the TV down. So this is one of those times that Numar, listen to the customer, that's a big feature just because that little extra tilt will make it so that you don't have that glare of the sun hitting your TV. We also have two 110 outlets and two USB inputs here as well. All right, so now that we've got the TV all situated, I wanna go ahead and extend my awnings. We have the remote control from Gerard. So these are the Gerard Nova pitch awnings. So that means they're gonna give you that extra pitch for extra shade. I can bring them out one at a time or I can bring them out together. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring them out together. So I just go to my channel. I want to go to zero and then I hit out and they're both gonna come out together. So now that I've got my awnings extended, I wanna go ahead and turn on the lights. I've got it right here. Just on, easy as that. So we're all ready to party. All right, let's move on to our next storage compartment. Now we have the powered pass-through trays. And that's in both of these compartments. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them both up. This makes it really easy so you can get from, you know, get your stuff from either side of the coach. The power is nice, especially if you've got something heavy on like a tool chest that you've got stored in here. And let me show you another cool feature. As I extend this all the way so you can see how far it comes out. So beyond the end of the door, whoo! And then if I want to just slide something off, I just lift this up and flip that lid, uh, that lip down. That way I can slide something on or off if, if I've got something that's really heavy. So I really like that. So while I've got those baggage compartments open here. I also want you to notice the star foundation. So Numar goes ahead and reinforces the Spartan chassis with the strong, true and robust 
foundation, which basically takes that road vibrations, the twists and the torquing that happen um, in the chassis area, and it absorbs those rather than having the house have to do all that work. As I extend this all the way so you can see how far it comes out. So beyond the end of the door, whew, and then if I want to just slide something off, I just lift this up and flip that lid, uh, that lip down. That way I can slide something on or off if, if I've got something that's really heavy. So I really like that. Now, another thing I want you to notice while we've got these baggage compartments open is the star foundation. So that's Newmar's strong, true and robust foundation. So they reinforce that chassis that they get from Spartan, which basically takes that road vibrations, the twists and the torquing that happen um, in the chassis area, and it absorbs those rather than having the house have to do all that work. And if you peek right up in here, we've got the splitter and power for our satellite. Another thing I always like to show is just the amount of height that you have for storage. So the, the uh, door opening here, just about 30, 31 inches you have for the door opening. Now, I wanna also show you with the storage tray, to the top of the chassis rail, you have about 16 inches. So you're gonna gain some space. If you don't do the tray, you'll lose a little bit of the tray, but it sure makes it easier getting your goods in and out of the coach with those powered trays. All right, our next storage compartment. So this is a manual tray. I usually recommend this one just because uh, it's fairly deep space, kind of hard to get there when it doesn't go, when it pass all the way through. So you can just easily pull that out. Now, Numar's given us our little kit here for our central vac, which comes standard. They've also given us some extra towels. Hopefully we never need those. But if we do, if you happen to be in some kind of accident, you sometimes if the impact is hard enough, you can pop some of those towels. Uh, also want to let you know that National and RV Centers has the best paint and body and collision repair shop. So make sure you check out my video on that. You'll show the detail and the expertise that goes into um, getting your baby back to pre-collision condition. Hate to talk about that, but those things happen, accidents happen, um, but check out my video and you'll see what we have to offer in, in that area. Now, when we're down here, we've also got the filter system here. That's where you change the filter for your central vac. And then this is the splitter where all of our four cameras for our 360 camera comes together here. Then we have a silver leaf, the heat controller. We have the bedroom slide out control here. We've got two 110 outlets and our Gerard awning controls. All right, and then let's go back to our last compartment. So this is nice. Our first water tank is probably gonna be on the other side of that. So Numar's just giving us some nice storage. We can hang tools there. We can put in extra oil, DEF, just a great place for our supplies so that we've got them during our trip. So we have our marker light, our second docking light for the passenger side of the coach. And then we've got our tag axle here, which we have a passive steer tag axle. And this year on the uh, K3 chassis, we're gonna have a 17 degree turning radius, so much tighter turning radius than years past. So here in the center of the coach, we've got the second camera that contributes to our 360 camera. And then we've got our security light for the passenger side of the coach. All right, so we've got our 15 gallon DEF fill here. You can fill that on the passenger side or the driver's side. Couple of things with DEF. That is your diesel exhaust fluid. It does have a shelf life. So if you know you're going to a park and you're gonna be at the park for you know uh, the whole summer, so you're gonna be there for five to six months, you're not gonna to wanna to fill that right before you get there. You're just gonna to wanna to fill that as you go to leave on your trip. Typically it's a year, DEF doesn't really like sunlight or heat. So a couple of things to remember there. And then just above that, we've got the emergency suspension fill that Spartan gives us in case uh, we were having a problem with our airbags, that's where we could fill them if we needed to. So we, there's a little lever right inside, it's just to the side of the DEF tank. And when I pull this, it's gonna release air, it's gonna bleed off any moisture that might be in your air tanks, the tanks for your brakes and your suspension. Something that you should do as part of your pre-trip checklist, so when you're checking your oils and your coolant, 
just go ahead and pull that and just bleed off any moisture from those tanks. All right, and then we have our battery, our chassis battery compartment here. So we've got our chassis batteries, we've got our cutoffs to our batteries. So those are super important. If we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National and RV centers, where you're always plugged into 50 amp service, when you store your coach, you wanna make sure you turn those off so that you don't have any parasitic draw um, on your batteries. Then this is our power management system for the rear of the coach. So you're gonna have all your fuses and everything for the rear of the coach in here. We've got our air dryer. So you wanna make sure that you service that once a year. Again, you can do that with National Indoor RV Centers. And our fuel filter for the engine. Just a couple more things to point out before we move on to our guide talk. We've got our dryer vent here for our dryer, which is in the master bathroom. And then we've got our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach. All right, now for the guy talk. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open our engine compartment here, and I'll just go over everything that's back here. So first of all, um, first of all, I want to have you go and watch my RV 101 series um, part. It's a four-part series. First part is kind of my pre-check, um, pre-trip checklist. So if you want a copy of that checklist, but some of the things that you should check before you go on any trip, I've got it all listed there. So here we have our coolant. So we've got a little bulb here and you can see it's red inside there. You wanna make sure that's always full. Definitely something you wanna check before each trip. And you can fill it here. Then we've got our engine oil fill here and the dipstick is just down inside here. And that's a really long dipstick. <laughs> um, but that's where you check your oil. We have our hydraulic oil here. This is for your power steering. And then just below that, I've got the, you know, the little beeping sound that can be a little bit irritating when you're in reverse backing up. Uh, the connector where you can disconnect that, I definitely don't recommend it, but it's right inside here. And then our second fuel uh, filter. All right, here's the quick connect. Now, another thing that I go through in my video uh, RV 101 series, I believe it's in part two when I'm actually on a trip, I show you how you can use your diesel engine as a big compressor where you can actually fill up your tires if needed. So check that out on my video, but this is a quick connect here. Then we've got our engine block heater. So if it's a cold morning, you wanna warm up the engine compartment or the engine before you go ahead and get started on your trip, you'd come back here and plug that in here. Then we've got our coolant for our Oasis hydronic heating system here and our transmission oil. Uh, this is where we would check that dipstick and fill there. Then we've got our engine air minder. This is gonna let us know when we need to change our engine filter. So this is our air cleaner. When this goes up, you need to bring that to National Indoor RV Centers and have your engine filter changed and you need to do that once a year regardless. Just wanna point out that the air cleaner has a vent. So it looks like it's just part of the coach. I love how they do that, just kind of looks like it's part of the design, but that's where ambient air goes in for your engine. It will go through the air cleaner and then into your engine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that so you can see this beautiful rear cap on the Mountain Air. Love that they've got the badging there again at the Mountain Air. You'll see our third uh, 360 camera. And then as we go down here, we've got a 15,000 pound hitch on the Mountain Air. So that means you're gonna easily be able to uh, tow your Suburban and some jet skis, um, whatever your need, you're gonna have, you're gonna be just fine. And then we've got this Spartan safe hall, so you can hook up your tow vehicle, your seven way for your um, lights for your tow vehicle, and then notice the beautiful Numar badging on the mud flap there, and our exhaust for our engine. All right, so here to the driver's side, first we have our marker light. Then we've got our side radiators. So there's a couple of things that are nice about a side radiator. First of all, you saw in the engine compartment how everything is super easy to get to. That's the biggest bonus for servicing and everything else. Then also the side radiator is gonna suck in that ambient air and it's gonna be cooler coming in from the side and so your fan will have, won't have to work as hard, which gives you more horsepower. Another thing, just radiator maintenance. You wanna occasionally just take your garden hose, put your thumb over the end, and just lightly spray that off just to keep that clean and working efficiently for you. Then we've got our emergency egress door. 
I love how Newmark gives you this. First of all, not most manufacturers don't give you an emergency exit door. We get it here. We have a ladder. You open it from the inside only, a ladder that telescopes down, very easy to get in and out of the coach. And then it's kind of seamless here. You don't really notice that much. There's no handle on it. So the nice feature, and I'll demo that when we're inside the coach. Then we've got our DEF fill for the driver's side of the coach. We've got a compartment here that's an extra compartment for a stinky slinky if you want to store that. It's nice they give you a spot for that so it's not going to get your uh, wet bay all dirty. And especially now in the 2021, uh, they've changed the wet bay so it looks even more high end, looks really nice and so you want to keep that nice and clean. Then we've got our first docking light for the driver's side of the coach and marker light. And this is the exhaust for our OASIS system which is our, our hydronic heating system. All right, check out that new wet bay. Isn't that gorgeous? So they've added the stainless steel to the wet bay, which I just think it makes it look really nice. Then I love that they've labeled everything really nicely too. So I'll kind of walk you through the wet bay. We also have LED lights in here. So it's gonna make that easier to see at night. If you go into the campground at night or you've gotta go check it at night, it's gonna be nicely lit. Hard to show in the middle of the day here. But we've got a spot, first of all here, for our paper towels, which is nice. So after you do all that dirty work, you can clean up and you can clean up right here with your stainless steel um, shower. So they've upgraded the shower um, out here. We've got hot and cold and they're color coded as well. Everything that just makes it nice. And then this is just a really nice, the hose moves very easily and you've got this stainless steel shower head. So I like that and a nice little spot to hold that in place. Then we've got our um, pump and our fill here for our fresh gray and black tanks. Now we have bigger tanks too. So our gray tank is now gone from 65 to 80 and our black has gone up to 60 for the 2021. So that's, that's a nice feature as well. Then we've got instructions for how to winterize a coach. Again, if you store with National Indoor RV Centers, that's not something you have to worry about because we keep you plugged in. 50 amp service all the time, you don't need a winterize. So it's really easy. You can come in and use your coach basically year round because you don't have to worry about that. Um, this is our SantaCon system. So you can add the Thetford um, macerator option that we have added here on this coach. And so you've got your hose here for that. Again, in my RV 101 series, I walk through how I hook everything up, the order that I go into, but this is gonna allow you to just thread that through here. And then they've got this nice little seal here so that when you get here, you can seal off your wet bay. You're not gonna have critters coming up into your wet bay, which is something that's super important. Now, for some reason, if this fails, you've always got the backup where you can do a gravity dump. You just hook a clear elbow onto here. This is gonna be your bypass um, T-bar here, and you can do a gravity dump if you need to. So nice that you have that option. All right, here is the water filter for the whole coach. And then when you come to National Indoor RV Centers, we'll hook up the water filter for your refrigerator so that drinking water has that extra filtration, which is nice. I'm just gonna walk you through. Here's our auto tank fill and auto city supply. So you can adjust that valve as needed, depending on what you're hooked up to. This is your sewage rinse. Now again, with the sewage rinse, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. You don't have a sprayer in there, like a dishwasher or something. That's always what I imagine. Basically, it's just pushing water into the sewage area and kind of pushing it through. So just below the nice new stainless steel um, outdoor shower, we have our low um, point drains and they're labeled hot and cold and then our tank rinse. So that's really nice. And then we've got our sewage water holding tank, our drain outlet and our gray water holding tank. And then I love that your fresh uh, water hose is on the auto rail. So that just makes that really easy. And Numar also gives us this little uh, rubber seal here so that when we're hooked up to city water, we're not gonna get any critters in our coach through here as well. Also, I wanted to point out when our slides are extended, um, the clearance is pretty tight. So we've got this slipper hinge. You'll see as I start to shut this door that it's going to raise up. So it raises up, shuts nice and tight, but when my slides are out, it's gonna drop down and sit well below the slide that's extended. We've got the power rewind wheel. So that just makes that 
super easy when you're putting it away. And the other thing I like, again, they give us that rubber seal so that we can just push that through. It's gonna be tight, no critters in our coach while we're camping. We've also got the LED lights in here, so we're gonna be able to see everything really well. We have our SureGuard auto transfer switch. So that's mounted inside. You also wanna have a SureGuard protector at the pole as well. And then we've got our input here for our cable. In this compartment, we have our Oasis hydronic heating system. So we're gonna use, this is what gives us our on-demand hot water. It also is gonna be our furnace. So once you drop below 40 degrees, you're gonna use this for heat inside the coach. Then we've got our power pass-through tray. So again, this extends all the way um, past the door on the driver's side of the coach as well as the passenger side of the coach. Again, you'll notice the slipper hinge as I open this, the door is gonna drop down and our second passenger tray. Remember, those are optional, so you can choose to have those or not. Here we have the batteries for the house. So they're on a tray, you're gonna just pull out these on either side, and then they are on a pull-out tray. So we have our eight house batteries. They are AGM batteries, so no maintenance. Um, they're good for about five years. When it's time to change those batteries, just call me and I'll, I'll help you get into a new coach. <laughs> so here's our fourth camera for the 360 view and the bird's eye view inside the coach and our driver's side security light. So a couple things, um, in the 2021 Mountain Air, they've given us larger windows. So look at that nice big window. Great view that you're gonna have when you're in the campground, when you're driving down the road, which is really nice. And as always, you have the dual pane tinted uh, frameless windows all the way around the coach. So we have the Girard slide toppers. These are nice. First of all, they're just top quality. And then you can see they have the little bristles so that as the slide comes in, and goes out, it kind of brushes off the top of the slide. But the main difference here that I want you to notice is that the slide topper is attached to the wall of the coach. You're not gonna have that sag in it that you've seen in coaches in the campground. I know, what you, I know you know what I'm talking about. Then another thing that Numar does is they have gutters on the roof. So when it rains, um, condensation from the air conditioner, which is mounted actually to the roof, it's not just doesn't just have a pan. It runs to the corners into the gutters and they've got bigger gutters this year for 2021 as well to eliminate hopefully any kind of clogging in those drains. So that's really another, another nice feature that Numar adds that. And then you've got the internal gutters on all four corners of the coach so that, that any of water that's draining off the top of the roof is coming down in that internal gutter rather than coming down the side of your coach and leaving those unsightly stains, water stains on your coach. So we have our marker light, second docking light for the driver's side of the coach, fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. And then we've got the exhaust here for our Onan generator, which is gonna be a 12.5 kilowatt Onan generator little handy dandy thing they give us here you get to that gas station you need to wash off that big windshield so that you have a beautiful view of the country as you're going down the road you've got your own little squeegee which is nice and then another feature that Newmar gives us is the hot water line um, that goes right up by the generator I'll show you that in a minute but that's huge so you can go ahead and attach your hose there you're gonna have hot water to wash off your windshield when you get to the campground, which is super important. And you can wash off the front of your, of your cap, again, to protect your paint. Here's the power control center for the front end of the chassis. So fuses, if you're having a problem with your electric seat, this is where you check for that fuse. Plus, Numar gives you these extra fuses right here so they're not rattling around in the compartment and when you need them, they're very handy. So you just wanna have your coach on and aired up and you just hit the button. And that whole front cap comes out, which is really nice. Makes it very easy to get to. All right, another reason I love that this whole cap comes out is it's easy for me to show you what's under here. So first of all, let's start here. There's our windshield wiper fluid fill. That's where you'd fill that up. Now just above here, this is our wussy horn. I'll demonstrate that inside the coach because our big air horns are right here. And if I'm driving something this big, I want people to hear me coming. I'm gonna have those air horns on all the time, regardless. 
Now here, this is what I mentioned earlier. This is the hot water line up by the generator compartment here. So I can hook up my hose here, turn this on. I'm gonna have hot water. I can wash off my windshield and wash off my front cap, which is super important. When you get to the campground after a long trip, you wanna make sure you wash off all the bugs. It has diamond shield on it, but there are bugs that will try to eat through that. So I always, that's one of the first things I do once we're all set is wash off that front cap. Here we have our fuel oil filter for our Oasis hydronic heating system. And then right back in here, we have our quick connect. So this is where we can hook up, we can fill up, you know, footballs, baseballs, um, whatever you need. But also again, refer back to my RV 101 video and I'll show you how you can actually fill up these tires with that. Now we've got our 12.5 kilowatt Onan generator. And here, this is the breaker. So if you were to happen to be to, uh, you know, flip that while you're driving down the road, you would have to pull over and this is where you would reset that breaker. We also can start and stop our generator from here. We can turn it on and off. And then this is gonna give us our generator hours. This is our coolant for the generator. And then just behind here, we've got so here we have our hydraulic system and reservoir for our hydraulic slide and for our hydraulic levelers. All right, I'm sure you're as excited as I am to get inside and see the interior. So let's head on in. Oh, and before I go in, just wanna note that we've got two storage compartments right as you walk in the door. So inside your steps, they're nice and deep. So you could put shoes in there. You, you never have to walk in and have dirty feet going through, dirty shoes going through the coach. You put shoes right there, uh, pet leash, dog food, um, tools that you get all the time. So really nice that you have those compartments right when you walk inside. And then just inside here on the panel, we have the cargo lock and unlock. That's also on your key fob, but it's nice to have that. And then your battery disconnect is just above that. So as I walk into the coach, I've got these nice grab bars here to my right and to my left. So very safe getting in and out of the coach. Now that we're inside, let's talk a little bit about the interior. We're in the Ibis interior and we've got the sable maple wood. So beautiful cabinetry throughout. I'll kind of be talking about that while we're in the coach here, but let's just go ahead and start going through these cabinets up top and let's see what's inside of them. First, we have our smoke detector here on the ceiling. So we have storage and more storage, along with our Wi-Fi Sky Pro LTE cell router. So this is basically an optional item that you can add to the coach. We put it in all of our coaches at National Indoor RV Centers. Um, by adding a card to your cell phone uh, plan, you can make your coach, you can make this your hotspot, just like you would have in your home. So it makes it really nice. Then we've got another little storage compartment here. We've got our 43 inch Samsung TV and we've got an improved JBL sound system up front in the cockpit area. Then we go to the very important cabinet. Here we are. So this is basically the, the control panel for most things in the coach. So I'm gonna walk you through this. All right, so let's start at the top here. We've got one free 110 outlet. Then over here, we've got our WineGuard Traveler um, HD satellite. So this means that we're gonna have HD in the campground, not in motion, that's an optional item. Then here we've got our three-stage deluxe control charger for our solar panels. So this is an optional item. Uh, this Mountaineer comes equipped with four 100 watt solar panels. You can also push this button here to light up the display or if you push and hold it for 10 seconds, you can reset the amp hour meter. So you have three stages. You have bulk, absorption, and float. So when your batteries need to be charged a lot, you're gonna be in bulk charge. When they're almost fully charged, then you're gonna be in absorption and when your batteries are full, they're in a float mode. Now, say we are not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National and RV Centers where you're plugged in at all times to 50 amp service and your coach is babied, but say that you're storing it outside. So if you're gonna store it outside and you've got exposure, your solar panels are exposed to sunlight, um, and if you turn all your battery disconnects off, then you'll be able to maintain your batteries with those solar panels. But the trade-off is, is that your coach is sitting out 
in the sun and you know it's it's aging your coach just by being in the sun and you're not using it this is our wine guard over the air antenna so you're just going to hit Turn it on and put it in search mode. Even inside the building here at National Indoor RV Centers, it's going to search and it's found eight channels. This is another controller for our Gerard awnings. So you can turn the light on here. You can lock them, unlock them. You can change the channel. So that would just bring out one awning. This would bring out the second awning. Not together, but if you want to bring them together, you just break it to zero. Put them out or in or stop really easy to use. Here we have our power driver side window awning and our passenger side window awning. These are amazing. They're awesome because they're powered. We don't have to get the little uh, metal rod to try to loop the hole in your awning and pull it down and secure it. Powered awnings are the bomb. They're awesome. <laughs> then we have our driver security lights. So our driver side security light, our passenger side security light, driver's um, privacy drape so that's here to the left of the driver the front privacy drape so that's going to be the whole front windshield here the door privacy drape and the passenger pipe privacy drape we have our entry door awning light so we can turn that on and off here and we can extend and retract the awning door awning here then these are our slide out room controls again you want to make sure that um, you've moved your seats forward before you do those so that you don't bring a slide into your captain's or co-captain's chair. So this is the driver's side slide out. This is the passenger side slide out. We have our exterior um, LED lights here and we have our exterior entry step. So once we're at a campground, we just lock that in place so that it doesn't keep going in and out every time we come in and out of the coach. This is our Wi-Fi router switch off and on. And then this is the port that our technician can plug into the silver leaf system and communicate with it. All right, so this is the all new display for our silver leaf system, which is huge. This been a, has been a long time coming, so it looks much more um, up to date and current. This is our home screen, so it's gonna give us the levels of our tanks, our freshwater tank, black water tank, and gray tank. Also gonna give us a reading on our house batteries and our chassis batteries. and uh, we're, right now we are plugged into shore power. It's letting us know and it's showing us the amps on each leg. This is our AC power. Again, it's showing us that we're pulling 11 amps on leg one, nothing on leg two. And our Mark Max charger draw is 30 amp and our inverter is in standby mode because we are plugged in right now. Okay, so this is showing that our Max charger draw is 30 amp. Right now you can adjust that by going to load shed. So say we're here at capacity, we're at single phase, so that means we're plugged into 30 amp power and I want to run an AC. So right now, all 30 amps are going to charge my batteries or they're in a bulk charge um, state. So I want to go ahead and take that down to like 10 or five. That's all that I want going to my battery. The rest I want to use to run an AC. Uh, now if I'm in dual phase, so I'm plugged into 50 amp service, I've got 50 amps coming in on each leg. Again, I want to be able to, I don't want all those 50 amps going to charge my batteries, I want to run my all three AC units. So I'm going to take it down to 20, 25, that way I can run two AC units off one leg and one AC unit off the other leg. And then we've got our capacity for our generator and that's always at 50 amps when you're on the generator. All right, so our inverter. So we have a 3000 watt pure sign inverter on the mountain air. It's in standby mode be because we are plugged in right now. But an inverter does three things. It converts AC to DC, DC to AC, and it charges batteries as needed. So it passes current through and charges the batteries as needed. All right, then we can go to DC power. So you can see that we're in absorb mode right now because our batteries are almost charged and we have the generator here. So this is where we can start and stop our generator and we can clear the locks. There's locks in the setting of the auto gen start. So I'm gonna go to auto gen start. This is where I could change some of those settings if I needed to, but right now it's enabled, so it's on. It, it will turn on, it will work. What will trigger it is if my batteries get below 11.8 volts, they'll top off the voltage when it gets, or it will stop when it gets a 12.5 and the top off runtime, it will run at least a minimum of 45 minutes. 
then I can set my quiet time. So I started that at 8.30 p.m. Until, and I want it to end at 8 a.m. Then we have our chassis battery, battery auto charger. It's disabled right now, but we can change that and enable it. If it gets below 12.3, it's going to charge. Um, bridge connecting time is gonna be a minimum of 60 minutes with a maximum runtime of four hours. And then you can set it to exercise um, your generator if you need to do that, and you can set the time and when you wanna schedule that for. Water, this is where again, I can see my tank levels here. I can turn my water pump on or off and I can do the autofill on and ready and I can do on or off and top off now. Climate control, so I can control all zones from here or I can go to the living room, the kitchen, the bath, the bed. I'm gonna go back to all and then I can set the cool, auto and heat, my daytime temperature, nighttime temperature, when I hit away, it will turn everything off. When I return, it will return back to the settings that I had it on. And then I can turn my um, engine block heater on here if it's plugged in in the back. And this is for my floor heat. So again, I've got three zones, the front, the rear, and the mid, and I can turn those on and set the levels right here. This is gonna control the brightness of my screen. And then this is gonna be configuring some of your system components, network diagnostic, monitor diagnostics, tank configuration, and you can view your AC power history. Custom monitor, monitor configuration, climate screen configuration, view logo, view clock. And you can test your touch screen here or reboot the system. All right, so moving on, we have another little storage cubby here. It's actually pretty deep, so I'm sure that I'd find, uh, you know, something to put up there. <laughs> and then we've got two more storage compartments here. Notice how nice the doors are. They all have the double struts and they close nice and soft. Just beautiful craftsmanship. So welcome to the living room of the 4543, very popular floor plan in the mountain air. Just want you to look at how gorgeous this is. From the beautiful ceiling, this is the new ceiling that they put in the 2020. It's been very popular and so pretty. And then the woodwork, I love the X's kind of throughout that you see repeated in the woodwork here. And then again, this is the Ibis interior. And we've gone with the optional theater seating in lieu of the Chase Lounge. Love the theater seating, it's powered, of course. And you can get really comfortable. <laughs> really dangerous about this time of the afternoon. I, I could fall asleep really easy, but you can see how comfortable this is. And there's a charging port where you, your power button is. And look at the fancy lights on my cup holders. Just kind of fun, especially if you're watching a movie at night, you can light those up nicely and not have to fumble around in the dark. And then my favorite compartment here, they've given us all this space for throws, books, whatever junk you know that you have laying out when guests come over you can throw inside here it's a little hideaway <laughs> plus i like the spot for remotes as well and then we've got our light control here so you're going to see these throughout the coach but this is going to control my dinette lights my overhead lights and i can set i can go to those and then i can determine how bright so if you are like me and like it nice and bright especially in the daytime, you might have it there, but as evening comes, you wanna dim those lights a little, you can set that and it will maintain that setting. Then you're gonna have your reading lights, my wall lights, and my accent lights. And again, I can adjust those all or just turn them on and off from the panel. The Mountain Air comes standard with the MCD uh, day and night shades, and you can control them, they're power shades. So you just go to the shade button here and then you can pick your shade that you want to bring up and just hit the day shade, bring that up. If I want to bring the night shade up as well, just as easy as pushing a button. All right, and I'm not finished. There's more functions on the screen. So go back to the screen. We've got our lighting, our shades, our fans. So I can turn on my kitchen fan, my master bathroom fan, or my half bathroom fan from here, high, medium, and low. 
and I have my fan on and off switch and I can do the rain sensor override. If I put a cover on there and, it, and I still want that to uh, be on, even though it might be raining outside, I can override the system right there. Then I've got systems here, so I can turn on the water pump from here. Here's my TV lift up and my TV lift down. So I'm in my theater seating. I've got my popcorn, I wish. <laughs> um, and I wanna watch the TV now. I'm just gonna go to my home button, hit systems, and I'm gonna hit TV up. And here comes my nice big 50 inch Samsung TV. All right, so then from systems, I'm gonna go to display brightness. I can change the brightness of all my displays right here, turn them off, and then I can turn them back on. The eye is gonna give me more information about my lighting, my shades, my fan, and my systems. If you need a little tutorial, never, um, don't, don't, uh, don't be afraid of getting a little lesson right there. <laughs> All right, so as we head over to the passenger side of the coach, I know I just went over the light panel over here, but I wanted to let you know that this panel on the lighting, since it's close to the, the front door, you have the all lights on button, which is basically gonna give you your running lights in the coach, so when you first come in, you can turn those on. When you go to exit the coach, you can go all lights off. And then you have the same controls that I just showed you on the other side. Same with this here. This is gonna give you lighting for this area of the coach and then you have your other controls as well notice the beautiful lighting that package that we get with the mountain air and then let's go into the storage here so we have storage a lot of people will ask me why this is uh you know they have such a big header here or you don't have as much storage it's because you have a header that you have just like when you're constructing constructing a house it gives you more support there so that's why that space is lessened Above here, we've got the new Bose 700 soundbar in place of the 300 series soundbar from last year. Here we have our AV cabinet. So we have our Sony Blu-ray DVD player. We've got 110 outlet. We've got um, inputs for our satellite and for our dish network prep there in the back. And then one more storage cabinet over here. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how many people this coach will sleep. Well, obviously we have a beautiful king size bed in the back, but we have a pull out um, sofa here that I'm gonna show you. You can go ahead and make it into a bed so you can see how easy it is to do. So I'm just gonna move these pillows. Move the top cushion. Now that I've got those cushions removed and the pillows removed, it's gonna be easier for you to see that I've got two 110 outlets here and two USB charging ports, and I've got two 110 outlets on this side. Now I'm just going to lift my bed and pull it up and out. Then I just take the headboard here, pull it down, and I've got my air mattress, the platform for my air mattress. You're just gonna fold out your air mattress, then it's super easy. It's powered, so you just plug it in. Turn it the right way, it always helps. <laughs> and then you just push it up, and it's gonna blow up that air mattress, do all the work for you. All right, so now we have this wonderful bed here, queen size mattress, very comfortable, and it's just super easy to get out there. The other nice thing I wanted to point out is that you still have a walkway in front of the bed between your theater seating and the bed. So if you've got a furry friend that needs to go out for a potty break in the middle of the night and you've got guests here, you can easily get by them and go outside the coach. All right, time to put the mattress away. Super easy, you're just gonna lift and you're gonna push that button down and it's gonna take all the air out of the bed now and then you'll be able to fold it up, put it right back as it was.
All right, now let's check out the space that we have in the overhead cabinets on the driver's side. So we have a nice, deep, big space here, and there are no dividers in between here, which I love because I can definitely use that space better when it's all available to me. Then let's move on into the dining area here. So we've optioned this coach with the combination desk dinette. This is a very a popular option. It's either, people are either booth people or the combo desk dinette. That's two of our most popular um, options here in the kitchen area. So the benefit of the combo desk dinette is you get this buffet area. You can have a kind of a workspace. Um, if you're gonna use it as an office, typically a lot of people might like this space better because you have, let me just show you the drawer space that you have here. So nice full extension drawers. And these are all soft clothes, which is huge. No slamming of drawers. I love that. This can be a filing cabinet if you'd like. And then we have space below here. Not the easiest to get to, but you have an adjustable shelf there and it's just a lot of storage. So if you're looking for storage, this might be what you're wanting. And you've got another storage space here. Well, you can use this as a printer, pull it out. You've got an outlet, two 110 outlets here. Pull that out, you can use it as printer, computer, and then you've got the drop down door here with the pull out tray. So you can just go ahead and leave your laptop here, or your keyboard. You don't have to clutter your beautiful buffet area with that. And then you've got a spot here where you can thread a cord through. So great if you're gonna use your um, dinette as office space, or if you just want extra space, the combo desk dinette is probably for you. Then the next bonus here is that you can have a nice little cozy, intimate dinner for two, or you can invite guests, just pull out the table, and then you've got two folding chairs. They're leather this year, and that's from customer's input. They wanted those folding chairs to be leather to match the rest of the furniture in the interior. So you can get four people to, for dinner. Now you can see our dinette with our two folding chairs. Again, the leather on the folding chairs. And then Numar this year has made the chairs a standard height of 20 inches and the table standard height of 30 and a half inches. Not only does the combo desk dinette give you great storage below the buffet, but you also have all the storage above the buffet. All right, now to the kitchen, everyone's favorite part. So, cause this is where all the fun's made, the food's made, right? <laughs> First, before I go into storage, I wanted to point out our fans. So we have one in the kitchen, the half bath and the master bath. Then check out the storage that we have here. Love that they've given us an adjustable shelf. So if you have a big Instapot or something that you wanna store in there, you can take out that shelf or just store it in the front part. Coffee maker, you've got a spot for it. Another access to that same cabinet, but again, you're gonna have access to this space here, which as you know, storage is so valuable when you're in a coach. And I love the pull-out trays. Again, another adjustable shelf. Another adjustable shelf. And we have compartment here above, which is really nice. Just again, more extra space and a compartment here to the side. We have our Whirlpool convection microwave oven, nice and big. And ladies, gentlemen, <laughs> don't be afraid of these convection microwave ovens. You can cook, um, I've had one of my customers, customers that has given me a beautiful loaf of bread that she cooked in here. So just play around with them a little bit. We'll do some um, cooking lessons in them on one, on one of my videos. I do a little cooking segment on our RV 101 series part two when we hit the road using an Instapot. So don't be afraid to, to cook everything that you would at your home in your coach. Then we have this beautiful solid surface countertop and we love the sink covers here. Look at that nice big double bowl, stainless steel sink. Residential faucets and Look at all that space below. We've got the pull out trash can here. We have a spot here to the side where I can tuck in my sink covers so that if I'm not using them, I have a place to put them. 
which I always like that. And another big pull out storage tray here and a little flip down. So just a really nice big counter area here. Then we've got our full extension drawers. Again, they are all soft clothes. And let's go over to our cooktop. So we've got the induction cooktop. It's recessed and removable. So if you want to cook bacon, you don't want your coach to smell like bacon or all that grease to splatter all around, you can just pick that up, take it outside, and cook from outside. And you've got plenty of outlets that you can plug into in your storage compartments and just do the cooking there. The messy or stinky, smelly cooking there. Bacon smells, but it's a wonderful smell. Then we've got a spot here for our silverware. Right now we're using it for the remotes. I think I'm gonna put those in the storage compartment in the theater seating. And then we've got storage here, another pull-out tray. And then just below that, I've got my little dustpan here. So I can just sweep everything over there, hit this up, and it's gonna take it all away. Love that. Now, one thing I forgot to show you, in the kitchen area, you've got three different 110 outlets. So you actually have six, out, six outlets. You have one here, one middle, and one on each end. All right, one of the big options that has become very popular, again, this is an option, so you don't have to have it, but if you wanna add it in, is the kitchen window. So we have a nice big kitchen window and then check out the beautiful backsplash that you get. This is the standard backsplash with the Mountaineer. Beautiful, don't need to do anything to it. And then we've got another light panel right here. Then we have the optional dishwasher. So again, you can use that as space, storage space. If you don't want the dishwasher, I know lots of my customers prefer to have that, at least have the option. If they don't use it, they can always store pots and pans in there. I wanted to show you before moving on how easy it is to change the filters in your, uh, air intake so it just pops down it's magnetic and it's got the strap so it's a lot easier to change than it was in 2020 so i wanted to make sure i showed you that and then when you're done just snaps right back up super easy all right so let's move over to the refrigerator we have this whirlpool refrigerator and we have filtered water in the door so you don't have to open up your refrigerator for that right here and then we've got the freezer the different trays and the ice maker and then most importantly we have the lock so you just switch that right there and it locks both the freezer and the refrigerator super important to do it's on my checklist email me at angie at nirvc.com if you'd like a copy of that then we've got our pantry and we've got the locks in the pantry so you just push them in and they lock in place push and pull them out so full extension pull outs which are really nice they lock in place so there's no need for a travel lock on the pantry door and just push, push them in to lock them in place lightly push to unlock and then just push in to lock this is our thermistor so this is what is going to help maintain the temperature of your coach because it speaks back to the thermostat. So we have four. We have one in the front living room here, midship. We have one in the bedroom and one in the bathroom. And then we've got our central bag here and that whole kit and our hoses are in our storage bay below. And then we've got our half bath. I love the handle for the half bath. You're not gonna catch your jean pocket on that when your slides are in. So we've got beautiful half bath this year in 2021. The lights are integrated into the vanity mirror, which I think is just beautiful. And then also you have a medicine cabinet. We also have a nice towel holder and then our light switch light panel for the bathroom. Storage and then two 110 outlets right here in the storage compartment. Solid surface countertop with the integrated sink and again, beautiful residential faucets. More storage. More storage here. We've got the toilet paper holder and then we've got our breaker box here. 
All right, so we've got two 110 outlets here, so a total of four. Then we've got breakers for our driver's side slide out, our passenger side slide out, microwave, refrigerator, and bed and bath basement. We've got our extra fuses here, which is always nice. And then we've got the fuses here and they're nicely labeled on the door so we knew exactly what they go to. All right, we've got the beautiful raised panel doors as we go into the master bedroom. We've got our 43 inch Samsung TV. We've got another light control here and we've got our slide out control for the bedroom slide here. So just above our TV, we've got our AV box here. So we've got our Sony DVD Blu-ray player and we have our inputs for um, Dish Network and everything back in there and outlets, one, two 110 outlets. Then we've got an additional silver leaf panel here, the same as it is in the front, but it's nice that you've got that here in the bedroom as well. And then we have more storage. Now in this storage is something very important. A lot of people are always wondering, where is the power awning button for the bedroom uh, window here? And it's in this compartment right here. So a little secret. Then we've got beautiful solid surface countertop, nice big windows. And then look at all the space we have in these drawers. They're super deep. Let me show you. So super deep. Also want to notice that they're all the drawers throughout this coach are dovetail. And so they're just made very high quality drawers with full extension ball bearing drawers. So we have six drawers along the bottom here. So lots of storage in this master bedroom. Now let's go and look at the bed. We have a beautiful king size bed. We've optioned in the sleep number mattress and Check out all that storage below the bed, which is very easy to get to. It's kind of spring loaded on these. Uh, so you just lift it up and then it just shuts really easy too. You can do it with one hand. Then on both sides of your nightstands, you've got two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports and a little storage cabinet below those. Now a nice feature that they added in, in Mountain Air is in our overhead cabinets. We have a 110 outlet and we have a spot for a cord to come down. So if you have a CPAP machine, you can put it up there, plug it in, um, or you can put it here on your nightstand, either way. We also have, and we have the port for the plug on both sides of the bed. So if you have one machine, two machines, you're, you're all taken care of. Um, we have the reading lights and we've got our light panel underneath the bed and you can also turn on the water pump lots of different features there and we've got the speakers that we can turn on and off from here and then check out the storage again no divider in this storage area so you can get a lot of items up in this overhead storage compartment one of the light switches that you can turn on and off from the panel underneath the overhead cabinets is your driver side security light and your passenger side security light. I like that because if you're laying in bed and you hear a noise outside, um, if you wanna go ahead and turn those lights on, you can peek out the window or it may scare off whoever or whatever is out there. So up in the ceiling, you've got speakers on both sides of the bed. And we also have our carbon monoxide detector. And then again, we've got our panel that we can just pull down to change those filters and snap back up. So as I head into the master bathroom, just want to note that you have just a short little, maybe three inch step up. So I like that because it's not really big. Also wanted to mention that you have heated floors throughout the mountain air. So throughout the coach and in the master bathroom, heated floors, love that feature. Then as we go into the master bathroom, check out that beautiful solid surface countertop again, the really cool sinks. I love these with the residential faucets, beautiful mirror, and you've got the lighting backlit behind the mirror. And again, we've got our light panel here. So we've got our vanity lights, our accent lights, and the mirror lights are all on. And our courtesy light, that's just sort of your light. So if you get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you can just turn on that little bit of a courtesy light. Then we've got our medicine cabinet here to the right and we've got two 110 outlets in here i love that because i can just plug in my curling iron turn it off 
set it in there, no problem. And we've got four different shelves, which is really great. And then check out all this storage below. Again, the full extension drawers. Four full extension drawers. So plenty of space for all of your goods. And then two 110 outlets here, another two 110 outlet there, and another big storage compartment here. Now just around the corner, we're gonna have a little flip down storage spot. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there, maybe my Q-tips, cotton balls, Q-tips, name it, I'll find something. All right, so our emergency egress door is really easy to use. First of all, we've got two locks on it. I love that they've actually told us lock and unlock because it doesn't seem to matter. I always get it wrong, so I need, I need it labeled. So I've unlocked the door here, unlocked the door here. Then you just open it up and you remove the panel. There's a little tab, so it's just a magnet on there. Then you just release the strap and I'm gonna push that open and pull it down and then just let that telescope to the ground and I've got my easy escape. The 4543 comes equipped with this beautiful shower. First of all, some key features before we even step in. Towel holder, towel holder, towel holder. I love that, you can never have enough spaces for towels. I hate to have them on the ground or on the bed. Um, and then you've got a little security uh, lever there so that this doesn't come open when you're traveling or you can lock your, lo lock your loved one in there. <laughs> I don't think they go over very well. But I love this. You've got this beautiful all tile shower. We've got the flip down shower seat. Nice residential drain. Little spot for your foot there so you can shave your legs for the ladies. We love that. And then we've got the three dispensers for you know, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash here. So I love that. You don't have to have loose bottles rattling around in your shower when you're going down the road. You can just fill those up. Then we've got this beautiful shower head. I love the handheld wand as well. And you can adjust that level so that it's just perfect for you. And a really cool feature that you have in the mountain air is the Aqua View Shower Miser. So what this does, you just turn this little lever here when you get in the shower, rather than having cold water running and you wasting all that water while it gets warm, you just turn the lever here, you wait for this to light up. They say in less than four seconds, so it's pretty quick. It's gonna recirculate that water. When you just move this lever and then turn the water on, you're gonna have warm water. So you're not gonna use your fresh water in your fresh water tank, and you're not gonna needlessly fill your gray water tank, which gray water tank is always the one that I always fill first. So I think this is Great feature. One thing I'll just little word to the wise. There is a little bit of cold water in this line. So your very first little squirt of water is gonna be cold. So if you wanna play a trick on someone, don't tell them. Um, but otherwise, if you just let that first little bit of water go out, you're gonna have a nice warm shower. And then you've got the beautiful glass doors. Um, lots of space here. I'm in high heels. I have got plenty of room in the shower. So again, note the beautiful cabinetry. I forgot to mention that this is the gloss finish. You can get this um, sable, maple, wood color in matte or gloss. Then we've got the adjustable shelves, three shelves here, love that. And then probably one of my favorite features, love to have a hamper, how nice is that? So you can just, you know, throw your dirty clothes in there. And then when you're ready to do wash, step over. And we've got our stackable washer and dryer Splendid units. And we have a little extra drawer at the bottom, which is always nice. You can throw those dryer sheets in there. Now, if you ever come back to your coach and there's a horrible smell, you um, probably have had what happened, what happens in my home. Um, basically, the water in the P trap has run out. So you're having all those fumes coming from your tanks, which smell terrible. So all you need to do is grab a gallon of water, throw it in the washing machine, put it on a rinse cycle. It's gonna fill up that pee trap again and the smell's gonna be gone. So, little trick. Now, on the closet door, they've moved the lock from the center of the door up to the top, which I really like. It's out of the way, but 
I, I feel like I'm gonna remember to do it here more than here and it's visibly, it's, it looks better. So I'm gonna open that up. And then we've got our cedar lined closet. Look at all that space we have here. Again, adjustable shelves. And then we have the few, uh, recessed shoe storage. And then as I go to the other side, you'll be able to see that we've got wardrobe, hanging space. We can do long items here or we can double it up here and then we've got our safe. I always like to show the coach with the slides retracted so you can see that there's walking space. I could actually sleep on my bed if I needed to without extending the slides. I can get into my pantry and I can almost extend the shelves the entire way. I can get into the bathroom. That's why we have this pivot door so that when the slides are in, I can open that door, easily get in my bathroom and out of the bathroom. I can get into the refrigerator and the freezer. Access to all my kitchen, microwave, sink, you name it. I can make sandwiches. I can do whatever I need to or I can sit back and relax on the sofa. All right, so it's time to cover the cockpit area here. I'm gonna go over everything on the console here to the left of me. I'm gonna start with the HWH hydraulic leveling system. So I've got my ignition uh, in the accessory position, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit auto level. And you will hear the air kind of going out of the system. You can see that we're in travel mode right now. It would also alert us if we were on an excessive slope and we wouldn't, and we're not able to level the coach. That way we could move to a better spot. Also, just word to the wise, if you're in a campground and you try to level and you get that excessive slope light comes on, you readjust the coach and you try to level again and it comes on again, you probably wanna give it a, you know, a good 20, 30 minutes for that to rest um, because if you try it again, you just could kind of burn up that pump. So you don't wanna do that. So just get a little space. You know, you can try twice, but then I would give it a break in between. So because we're leveling, the travel mode has turned off. And you give two ways that you can level the mountain air. So this is the hydraulic leveling system. There is also the air leveling system that will come up on our glass dash that I'll show you in just a little bit. All right, so all four corners are red and we are level. So we are good to just be here and be camping for as long as we want. When, um, you know, say that we're, that we don't, that we don't feel like we're exactly level, we could raise or lower these jacks manually by pushing these buttons if we wanted to do that as well. But we don't need to because we're all level. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit auto store and it will retract the jacks. Once the jacks are all retracted, it will take us back to travel mode and give us a green light to go. Okay. All right, so we've auto leveled, we're back to travel mode and we are ready to hit the road. All right, so next we have our Allison transmission. This is obviously gonna be reverse, neutral and drive. And then our mode, just put it in economy mode. I think it saves a little, helps a little bit, whatever, in a little bit helps, right? Then we can go and hit the plus or minus so we can get kind of the transmission health information. So oil level is invalid. We haven't been running the engine, so it's still settling and then it will give us a better reading. Oil life 99%. Filters are okay. Trans health is okay. No codes. And we're back to economy mode. So you can downshift manually on the mountain air and you do that just with your uh, minus arrow here. So say I'm going up a steep grade and I want extra RPM. So I'm gonna, I'm in sixth gear. I wanna go down to fourth. So I'll hit that twice. I'll go to fourth gear. We've got our tag dump and I always just keep that in the auto position. The only time you'd ever use that is say if you were stuck in mud and you need some extra tra traction. Then we've got our engine brake. So we can have this on or off, but now it's off. I always drive with it on. When I'm driving something this big, and this has the four, this has the 500 horsepower engine, this you get 400 horsepower pulling you back if you've got your engine brake on and your engine brake on high. So I like to have the extra help. 
um, makes me feel safe. I know I can stop quicker, so I like to keep that on. We've got our cup holders here and they're backlit, so that's kind of nice. You can see those easily at night while you're driving. And if, if you look right below here, we have a USB port and auxiliary inputs. So auxiliary inputs, USB port. Just below that, we have two more USB ports. And then we've got a little storage space there. Always like that. All right, so let's go back up to the dash here. So we've got our light switch. This is in the auto position. This is off. Parking, our daylights, and then if you want to turn your fog lights, you pull that out. And that's gonna illuminate your fog lights. Pretty cool, huh? So I just always keep that in the auto position. Then we've got our brights and our dim here. This is our marker lights. So if we want to flash those three times to th thank, thank you to a trucker for letting us um, in. And this is, you can flash your brights to let a trucker know that he's safe to pull in once he's past you. These are our dome lights. So those are just above me here in the cockpit. And then we have our resume IH and cancel button here. So this is intelligent high beams. So if I'm driving at night, I'm gonna turn this on so that if I'm all alone on the road, my high beams are gonna on automatically come on. Um, if I want to turn them off, I just hit cancel. Sometimes, I mean, I typically never drive my coach when it's snowy or bad conditions, but sometimes your high beams actually make it worse. So I wouldn't have it on in that case. I would just go ahead and turn them off. Then we have our auto traction control override button here. This is our power button for our power window, tow window, which I love, love, love. Our air horn. So I'm obviously always going to keep that on. If you have it not on, you just have the little wussy horn. When you've got the air horn, they're gonna hear you coming down the road. I want them to hear me coming. Now this is our house and chassis battery boost button. Super important. So the battery boost button is super important. If I come to my coach and my batteries are dead, let's say I've spent the afternoon at Canton. Have any of y'all been to Canton? If you haven't, you need to come to Texas and visit us. Um, uh, the weekend before first Monday. Okay, <laughs> side note. Um, anyway, say I've been to Canton, I come back to my coach, I wasn't plugged in. For some reason, my uh, chassis batteries, I can't start the coach. What I want to do is hit that battery boost button. That's going to bring my house, ch my house batteries and my chassis batteries together. Give me enough power to start my generator, let my generator run for a little bit, and then I should be able to start my ignition. So love that button. It saved me a couple times. <laughs> and then right next to it is the button for our pedals. If I go ahead and hit this, I can adjust my pedals. So I can take them back or take them forward. And that's really nice. They're suspended. And so it's nice to be able to get those right in the perfect position. And that goes along with the chair. So let's just bypass to the chair here for a second since that's part of getting yourself situated here. So one of the things, especially for us ladies that don't have as long of legs, I love that we not only have the forward and backwards, and then we have the rear the, or the tilt up and the tilt down. I like that tilt down because that brings me closer to the pedal and I'm more comfortable as I adjust that. So just play with it a little bit. Um, you'll, get, you'll get used to it. And then we've got our button here for the reclining of our seat. So that's important not only when you're driving that you're comfortable, but once you've turned the seat around, there's a lever on the other side of my chair, on the left side of my chair that looks just like that. When I lift that lever up, that's what allows me to rotate the chair and put it into my living room basically. And then this button here is gonna be my foot rest when my chair is turned around. So you really have two recliners when you turn your captain and co-captain's chairs around in your living room. So that's really nice. You have the theater seating, the sofa, and two recliners. And then over to my left, I also have the lever for my heated seats and for my lumbar support. All right, we've got our parking brake. We pull to apply and push to release. Then we have the controls for our left and right uh, external mirrors and the defrost for those. And then this is a new button here. Lights up pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> so this is our Kurt Spectrum brake control. So if you are towing a stacker trailer or a heavy trailer, 
this is uh, you can adjust the intensity of the brakes on your trailer so that's integrated into the dash which is wonderful to have if you are towing a stacker trailer or a heavy trailer of any kind then just above this here we've got our um, wireless charging pad so you just lay your phone right there and it will charge as you're going down the road which is super nice no wires love that feature all right just to my left here below the dash i've got the lever that you press with your foot and it allows you to adjust the steering column and it can telescope out as well and then right to the right of that there's a green plug that's called the deutsch plug and that's for a technician to connect into your engine diagnostics and sort of communicate with the engine all right we're going to just i'm going to walk you through everything here on the dash first of all it's a beautiful glass dash very easy to read while you're driving and very easy to go through the options that you need to while you're driving as well because it's right here on the steering column so I'm, i've got my fuel level here my temperature my oil my air and my def those are all across the top obviously my speed or my rpms and my speed then in the center here i have all my engine information so i'm going to just start i'm going to go through i'm going to hit the house button here and then i can go up or down to go through that information on the dash so air leveling i talked about that you have air leveling on this i'm going to go ahead and hit that i have an auto level but you can go to high ride low ride more now this is where you can actually see that you're level but if say you needed to you know raise the right side of the coach passenger side of the coach and lower the driver's side of the coach because when you're dumping you wanted to get that best angle to you know get a good gravity dump out of your tanks you could do that here you could do auto level manual standby and then you can go to your exit there next one is brightness so i can control just go to enter there and I can adjust the brightness on my screen. I like that to be really bright, so I'm going to keep that right up there. Hit OK to lock it in. Messages, I don't have any. Settings. So in settings, we have TPMS, so you have tire pressure monitoring system that comes standard. So I'm going to go in there. I can see the pressure of all my tires here, and I can add my tow vehicle if I want to, too. So here I just need to select yes, change that to yes. Now it's going to pull up a single axle double axle, triple axle, or just your tow vehicle. So I'm gonna leave it there and go back. So I've got that. Then I can adjust the sound. So the sounds of the beep, I can make that a higher or lower. I like 50% skits for me. So units, um, we can go adjust our speed from miles to kilometers temperature, Fahrenheit, Celsius, pressure, PSI, or KPA, PSI, and then back. Okay, so then we have Comfort Drive. Now this is super important. So Comfort Drive is super important. That is a computer-aided driving assist. So what happens is that you can adjust the dial and you can do this while you're driving and I'll demo this for you in just a little bit. Basically what it does, if it feels a strong wind pushing against the coach, it's going to automatically adjust for you. And so you should never be fighting the steering wheel. Now one of the things you can do too is kind of adjust um, the tension at the steering column too. I like it to feel a little bit tighter, especially when I'm in the freeway. So I'll turn that comfort dial all the way up. If I'm in a parking lot in a tight spot trying to get in somewhere, um, then I'm going to turn that dial all the way down and you can literally turn this steering um, wheel with your pinky finger. So you'll love Comfort Drive. I've had customers um, over and over again tell me when they've come from a different manufacturer that didn't have it, how much they love Comfort Drive. It's a game changer and that they can drive further in a day with less stress and fatigue. So you're going to love it. Again, come to National Indoor RV Centers and give one of these coaches a, a test drive with Comfort Drive and try it for yourself. So there's the dial and you can adjust the settings to what you prefer for different situations. Again, I like it kind of up higher. And then just hit enter 
you've got your service you can give your set service reminders for yourself diagnostics and then we're going to go down to our trip information so we can go to trip information and you can toggle between a and b by hitting the ok button and then if you want to reset the trip information you're just going to hit ok and hold and you're ready for ready for your new trip your next trip all right you can also toggle through other information here accelerator position your tire pressure monitoring comes right up here on the screen here your uh, you can see what those readings are and then you can adjust your adaptive cruise control so you can make it um, that distance as short oops you can go short you can disable it long medium short I like it short so I feel like that's the most safe and then when we're driving you'll see that your collision mitigation system it will come on it will read the distance um, of the car in front of you and adjust as needed when you're in cruise control mode so now to the steering column so right in the center we've got the Spartan steering column we have our horn again I've already turned my air horn on so when I press that I'm gonna have my air horn then we can Bluetooth our phone into the coach here so I can pick up a phone call or hang up on a phone call right here so again I'm not having to pick up my phone my cell phone just makes it safer while you're driving you have your windshield wiper controls so you have your high and low and then you're gonna have uh, you can set your own unique timing so you just hit this count 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 4 1000 hit it again now it's going to continue at that four second interval until I turn it off. And then we've got our windshield wiper fluid here. This is the volume control for your radio. So again, hands free. You can adjust that volume on the radio without having to move anything. All right, on the steering column, a lot of people are looking for their hazards. It's this silver uh, lever that you just pull out. And then I can't tell you how many RV shows I've been to with the hazard lights on coaches because someone's turned them on, they don't know how to turn them off. Super easy. You just hit your turn, turn signal up or down and it's gonna turn them off. Now, speaking of the turn signal, we've got our turn signal. This is also our cruise control. So we're gonna turn it on from here and then we can set it from here. If you wanna go into high idle mode when you turn on your coach, you turn it on, hit that set up button you'll see your rpm start to go up and you'll see the high idle symbol come up on your dash and then you also have your high beams that you can flash on and off all right so we have our keyless start just want to show you a few features of this so if i just push the button once i'm going to go to that's accessory mode if i push it again and again i'm my foot is not pressing the brake push it again now i'm in ignition mode so i'm going to have the displays come up on my dash if I want to go ahead and start the coach, I'm going to put my foot on the brake and then hold in the button. I've got the green to go and I start it right up. Super easy. When I go to when I go to turn off the engine, I can just hold press and hold the button or I can put my foot on the brake and press and hold the button and it goes off faster. All right, so you've got to love the screens on the Mountain Air. They're nice and big, easy to see. You can go your menu, your radio, your media center, your XM radio, Bluetooth, so you can attach your phone to the coach. Mobileye, so that's gonna give you your lane detection. Um, and you'll have a haptic um, reminder too, so you'll fill that in your seat. Then you've got your HDMI, here at the dash if you want to input something there that's where you would do that your auxiliary input here camera control so I can pick what kind of view I want for my camera if I want that 360 view again this will show up better when we're out on the test drive because we're in our storage facility at National Indoor RV Centers so you'll be able to see these different views better I do love this 360 view and a campground when I'm driving because I can see someone walking around the coach. I just really like that. 
um, feature. Uh, our iPod connection, our navigation system. So I can accept that, go to my maps. So I love that. You've got that Rand McNally navigation system. Your settings, this is just where you can adjust the settings of your screen to what your, your own preferences. And we've got our settings so you can kind of personalize um, you know, the dimness, the brightness, the beep tone, etc., to your personal likings. And then we have our camera over here. So this is gonna give us a picture of our, our rear view camera and our 360 view, which you are gonna love when you're driving down the road. I promise, I promise, promise, promise. We have our front fan with high and low and off. This is for the fan, if we had our um, furnace running with our Oasis system, where we could adjust the heat coming out at us. Our overhead fans, so we turn those on and then we can adjust them to high, medium, or low. So those are gonna help defrost that big windshield um, if we need them to. Our docking lights, again, super important. We always wanna have those in on when we're com coming into a campground at night. Our courtesy lights, and then we have, we can start and stop our generator right here. And this is our entry door lock. So it's great because it never fails. I sit down to drive and I think, did I lock the door? Well, go ahead hit the lock right there, super easy. Then we have our visor or our day shade for the driver for the front windshield. This is our night shade for the front windshield and this is our day shade for the passenger. And just below that, we've got our control for our heating and air conditioning. So we can adjust the fan speed. If we wanna recirculate that air, defrost, cool and hot, and then we can decide where we want that airflow to go. We've got our drawers, got our keys in there, and then one more drawer. So we have the finger controls inside the armrest. This is Villa Ultra Leather throughout the coach. So on our sofas, on our captain's chairs, they just do a lovely job. Then we've got our controls down here to the side. Again, this is gonna be so you can recline, and then forward, backwards, forward tilt, up and down, and then we have our footrest. This is probably my favorite button. <laughs> so you can get comfortable as you're heading down the road. Now, another feature that's really cool that Newmark gives you is your little work table here. So I can put my drink up here, do my crosswords, look at my magazines, love that feature. And then it just tucks right away. Now this is another really cool optional item. So this is the passenger monitor. I love it. So uh, as the passenger, I can go to the bird's eye view, the rear view, I can go to my nav system and I can put in our route destination and go to maps. So that's really nice that I can see that help direct the pilot because sometimes they need help. Um, so I can do that all from here and that's a cool optional feature that you can add to the Mountaineer. We have the wireless charging pad. You just lay your cell phone there and you can charge it. We've got the little backlit cup holder, which I love. Then we've got our patio lights here that light up outside plus illuminate the stairwell so you're not gonna fall in there. You've got your visor, your day shade that's gonna go up here, and your step cover. So while we're traveling down the road, I don't need to worry about falling in the stairwell. We don't want to do that. That would not feel good. So that's just really easy right there. The ceiling light, we can flip on and off here, and the map light. Then just below here, I've got a 12 volt receptacle. And then behind me here on the wall, I have two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. All right, so I'm super excited to take the Mountain Air out on a test drive, see how she handles. Now there's one thing I wanted to mention before we get started. This coach we optioned in the universal toll module. So what that is, if you were to take the whole United States, there's 127 electric toll, tolling uh, businesses over 5,000 miles, basically. So this universal toll module works across all but two states and over 46 miles. So basically you have one transponder, one account, 
Um, you don't have to worry about it as you go into different states, how they're going to bill you, because I know that can be super big pain. So that just kind of eliminates that. You don't have to worry about going to toll booths and pulling over. So it's really nice. We optioned that in on this coach and it just sits um, really high up on your windshield inside the coach. Now I'm going to get ready to make a right hand turn here. I'm going to remember that my turning point is the center of my front axle so I don't start that turn until the center of my front axle is at the turning point. So I'm gonna put my nose out there a little bit further and then I'm gonna make that turn. I'm gonna use my mirrors to watch my back tires to make sure I don't get close to the curbs. If I do, I can stop and adjust. So the only time you get in trouble when you're in a coach is if you decide to be in a rush. <laughs> Not take your time and you know, that's the beauty of a coach is that you have this huge, beautiful windshield and you get to see America as you're traveling through the different states and our beauty, beautiful countryside. So just take your time, sit back, relax and enjoy it. And don't worry about that car behind you that's in a hurry. Just watch out for him. <laughs> now, let me tell you. If there is a car that's in a hurry and he happens to cut you off and you happen to get in a fender bender, there is no better place to take your coach for repair, for collision, or paint and body than National Indoor RV Centers. We store, service, and repair more high-end coaches in this country. So I wouldn't trust my baby to anyone else. If you happen to pull up to a repair facility, and you don't see another coach, that's a huge red flag. You want to take your coach where the experts are and that's at National Indoor RV Centers. All right, so as we're traveling down the road here, I told you I love the 360 camera. Well, now you can really see it. So I am in the center lane. You can see the cars coming right up besides me. I'm slowing down at a stoplight. And I love that I can see everything that's around me just makes it super easy. Another point of reference. So I've always got my mirrors I can watch and I can watch that 360 camera and my rear view camera. I set my cruise control at 57 miles per hour and there's a strong uh, wind um, as I'm driving and literally I'm not feeling that strong wind. I can see all the trees blowing. I'm just, I'm holding the steering column with one, one hand. So again, that comfort drive is going to assist me because it fills, it detects that wind and adjusts automatically. So I don't have to fight the steering wheel. So I have my engine brake on high. You'll see that when I got my foot on the accelerator right now, when I take it off the accelerator, I'm not putting it on the brake. I'm at 42, now I'm at 40. It's gonna go ahead and almost slow me down to a stop. So I like to have it on. It's extra safety for me. This is a 500 horsepower diesel engine. And when I go ahead and have that engine brake on high and on, when I put on the brakes, I've got 400 horsepower pulling me back to help me stop. So I really like having uh, the engine brake on at all times. We have Mobileye, that's new for 2021, that's standard. That's gonna help you with lane departure. If I start to go over without turning my blinker on, I'm going to get a haptic warning in my seat plus on the dash. So just another safety feature. We want you driving these coaches, living the RV lifestyle for a long time. So we want you to be safe and comfortable. Now you need to come and drive one of these yourself. Come to National Indoor RV Centers. I always tell my customers that when you're spending this much money, and it doesn't matter if you're buying a Class B, a Class C, or a Class A, you should take it for a test drive and make sure you feel really comfortable, enjoy it. So come and visit us at National Indoor RV Centers and uh, we'll take great care of you. So I hope you've enjoyed my walkthrough of the 2021 Newmar Mountaineer. I've been super excited to show this coach to you, so I'm so excited that you got to join me in this video. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost. Well, MSRP is $682,170. If you want to find out what I can sell you this coach for, which is going to be way better, <laughs> give me a call at 469-277-1120 
or you can email me at Angie at NIRVC.com. You can also go to our website, NIRVC.com, where you can see all the coaches that we carry. We have coaches in all different price ranges to fit your budget. We take in trade-ins, we do consignments. Basically, we do it all at National Indoor RV Centers and we make it super easy and pleasant for you, the buyer. And we love to bring you into the NIRVC family. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less with National Indoor RV Centers. Now, while you're at it, I want you to make sure that you check out my AIM Club video. That's our all-inclusive motorhome club. Come and party with us, we'll have a ton of fun. Retroband video, check that out. RVing 101 series. And don't forget that National Indoor RV Centers does paint and body and collision repair. So check out those videos as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.